I hate children. Why, hello there. I don't know why I just decided to do an impression of Mrs. Doubtfire. Or more like Lorraine doing an impression of Mrs. Doubtfire. So this either could be too much caffeine and I'm about to have a heart attack any second, or the potential makings of a quarantine-induced breakdown. Love that for me. So as you might have realised by the title of the video, around three months ago, I bought a DNA kit from 23andMe. It's, it's not like an EastEnders thing. I, I'm pretty sure my father is my real father. But I have always kind of had an interest in like ancestry and genetic makeup. Now, I did get a discount because I bought it in the Black Friday sale. We stand a cheap queen. But it would have been, I think, I want to say around £149 which pains my northern soul to say but i did get like 20 quid off it so if you were thinking about doing this yourself i would just wait until there's a sale because they put them on all the time i think there's one now to do with mother's day so just just get one now if you want to do it it's meant to take about four to six weeks when you send off the test but i think a mixture of covid and um, brexit it took about three months <coughs> But it's really easy to do. You literally, you get your kit, you just, you spit, and oh my gosh, the amount of spit. I didn't know it was humanly possible for that much to be able to come out into a little tube. And that's why they say spit, don't swallow kids. Don't know why I just said kids. Moving on. So after you pretty much remove all excess water from your body, you send the kit off and um, yeah, you'll get your results and I am sharing mine with you today. Just pre-warning, there's um, nothing exciting at all. I have no flavouring me. I am as white as they come. Like at this point, I'm actually considering changing my name from Victoria to Vanilla. I'll show you what I mean. I downloaded the app before I actually registered my kit because it's so much easier to use. So if you click on Ancestry Report, um, yeah, there it is. I am 100% European. Victoria Davis, that's me. See, a little bit of French and German, I'll come back to that in a minute. My makeup is 85% British and Irish. Not a shock whatsoever. Mainly made up of um, northern towns and Lancashire. Pains me to say that I'm related to someone from Lancashire. But we move. I love the fact Glasgow City's on there. That's probably why I subconsciously did my shitty Robin Williams impression. Because I've got family in Glasgow. I'm part Scottish. I'm part Scottish. Brilliant. Doesn't it make you proud to be Scottish? It's shite being Scottish. Some people hate the English. I don't. They're just wankers. We, on the other hand, are colonised by wankers. Can't even find a decent culture to be colonised by. And I also have Irish on my grand side. And honestly, they're just, they're just taking the piss out of me, really, aren't they? Number one, County Mayo. 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 Even the app is mocking how white I am at this point. I give up. I, I just give up. Now, it says I'm 13.4% French and German. It can't differentiate between the locations. In fact, it doesn't give me any at all. But I kind of expected that. I'm surprised I'm not even partly Scandinavian because ginger ancestors, basically. But I am related to a bloke called Charlemagne, the more you know. He actually looks a bit like my dad. It's a bit unnerving. But as well as ancestry, it does go deeper and delve into your genetic makeup and it runs certain tests. So if I click on health highlights, it will show me I am at risk for late onset dementia. Delightful. My memory honestly is to shot now, so I'll be I'll be surprised if I even have a brain left by the time I get to about 70. They also detected a variant which relates to age-related macular degeneration, which my grandpa had. Had. he also had dementia so he, clearly there is a gene somewhere in there luckily i'm not an, uh, an increased risk because i'm blind as it is you know my memory is too short i'm blind if i get both of the i'd i'd give up i just like no you know what i'm not doing a prince philip i'm off get that fire exit door i'm off now i found this quite interesting it measures how much you relate to Neanderthals, which as it says, disappeared around 40,000 years ago. I have more than 60% <laughs> DNA than other 23andMe customers. I think that says a lot about me as a person, to be honest. Traits including a variant having difficulty discarding rarely used possessions. That is true, I am a hoarder. I thought I just got that off my dad, but I don't think so. I think apparently it's just in my genes. So when you tell me to chuck something away, I'm like, I can't, I've got to keep it. I don't use it, but it's in my genes. Sorry, sorry, it's got to, it's got to be done, got to keep it. What a shame. 
two variants associated with being less likely to have a fear of heights and I am really not scared of heights at all so that does make sense. I mean don't get me wrong I think if I were to jump out of a plane I probably would shit myself but I also could do it skydiving don't bother me to be honest. It also tells you physical features of what you are more likely to have. It's not 100% accurate but some of it is there. Um, cheek dimples 50% chance I do not have them which is correct. 93% chance I have wet sticky earwax. I quite frankly just always wanted to know that my channel is and everything my usernames and everything is literally freckled fiend but there is only 51 percent chance i have lots of freckles so i literally just i could have been bald in the face not but you know what i mean what am i trying to say don't know but there's there was yeah 50 50 chance i am a fraud hair photo bleaching at 84 percent chance i do i do i mean it's it's dyed gingerish now but in the summer my hair just bleach itself blonde see this is wrong 72 percent chance i had little or no hair at birth i was like king kong i was just i was just all hair on my head it was pure black massive hair you don't know everything do you 23 and me you don't know everything only one percent chance i could have been a ginge see which is so strange because my face you know the freckles not bald i, I don't know what i'm trying to say i just i need help text just one pound per month to help her brain from going extinct and you've also got your wellness so i am genetically predisposed to a less than average which is true i mean look there's just nothing on me and i'm likely tolerant to cheese which yeah and listen to this my muscle composition common in elite power athletes but i'm not i eat doritos for breakfast and what is weird is I'm likely to consume less caffeine. It's not weird because I'm not massive on caffeine. I'll have like one coffee a day and then decaf tea and that's it. But why does it know that? Why do they know I'm not a caffeine addict? How do they tell that kind of thing? Fuck you, science! So last thing I'm going to look at is DNA relatives. So apparently... I, I don't share much DNA with anyone on this app, which I didn't expect to, to be fair, because it is a primarily American audience for this. But I do have a Lucy Robbins who shares 1.04 DNA with me, a third cousin. This donut deleted the footage of her outro, so like and subscribe to inflate her ego. Also, comment and let her know if you've done the test and what you think, because she craves the attention. Peace out, lads. Here's some more footage of her verbally abusing children kiss. I also have a variant... Shut up! There's just nothing on it. <coughs> the child just screamed so angrily burped at them. <laughs>